go. Hey guys, this is BDB back again with some Circle Jerk Tour games for you guys. Um, today is like my second game of uh, Circle Jerk Tour. Like my first game was against Cory 2600 and today I go up against Martin. Uh, this was like a month ago, so I might re not recall correctly what all happened in this game, but yeah, this was like a pretty fun game. I'm using a uh, hyper offensive, or you can call it like bulky offense team built by my good friend Colin, or Avion, or whatever you want to call him. Uh, this I, I really like his build style because he builds mostly offensive teams or bulky offensive teams and that's like my favorite play style as well and i'm like pretty comfortable using his teams like i didn't even like try this team once but i just looked at it and i'm like yeah this team is like pretty cool this uh, it, the lando is uh eq with earth plate smackdown sword stance and substitute for stall because I had no clue about what Martin would bring and if he like decided to bring st full stall or something like uh, semi stall or something which is like uh, basically uh, bulky as fuck uh, Landorus would be like pretty cool against him and uh, obviously Broken Me Mega Metacross uh, is a great fit for this team uh, Stealth Rocks, Dra Dra Draganium Z Guard Chomp, Specs, Specs Gengar, Scarf, Keldeo, and Assault West Tangrowth. So it's basically full on hyper offense with like a Tangrowth to like deal with uh, Broken Zygarde. Like Ban Zygarde like runs through this team without Tangrowth. So yeah, Assault West Tangrowth is just like there for like uh, something like Ashgren or yeah, Zygarde. And yeah, something like Coco, which is like too annoying to this team, especially if it's HP Ice, because like neither Garchomp or Lando is scarf. So yeah, Coco is also really annoying, and yeah, AV Tank Growth like deals with it pretty well. So my opponent has like a really bulky team, like he has uh, Zapdos, Toxapex, Scizor, Heatran, Assault West Tank Growth, and uh. Just a random Greninja in there, so yeah, his team is like pretty bulky as fuck, and uh, I like yeah, this team is like built on to like take on more bulkier teams, and it basically does well against all kinds of teams. And the only thing it like probably loses is to like webs, and I didn't uh, expect my opponent to bring webs because from the few replays I scouted, he uses like more bulkyish teams, so yeah. He, uh, from team preview, I think he he's like a defox scissor and uh, three attack Zapdos, which would be the good set. Like, yeah, because three attack Zapdos has like the best coverage with bolt beam and heat wave. And it, it, yeah, it basically hits a lot of things. And defox scissor is like uh, one of the few checks to Metagross. Uh, so yeah, I, I, th this is where my thought process was going into this battle. And I thought he was going to lead up with... Um, Probably the Spikes Grin or something like Ash Grin. So I decided to go with uh, Keldeo as a lead. But he ends up leading with uh, Zapdos. Uh, okay, so since he le leads off with the Zapdos here, I think... Uh, uh, I don't want to obviously sack my Keldeo turn 1 if to a T-Bolt or something. And since I'm Scarf, I'm pretty sure I can't... Yeah, I can't knock the Zapdos out with one hit. So I decided to like uh, go into my tank growth uh, on the T-Bolt as he ends up doubling to his Toxapex. So uh, this makes me feel that he's not a defensive tank growth because even if he because if he is defensive tank growth, uh, so I mean the defensive Zapdos, uh, he would have pro he would have lived even a Specs Hydro Pump from Keldeo and. He could have like just T-bolted me and uh, knocked my Kelly out turn 1 because Kelly is like pretty annoying to his team even though he has a Toxapex. He's like uh, kind of annoying with the Scar Burns and stuff but since he like switches out, uh, I just think he is like not bulky and stuff. Uh, as he just, uh, But he doubles out into his Toxapex which is like always a great switch into a Kelly because 
Uh, Toxipix eats up Keldeo's hits all day long. So he goes under his Toxipix. So obviously I can't touch the Toxipix with my Tangrowth. Though I could have gone for the knockoff there. Uh, I decided to like just double out into the Gengar and get more offensive momentum going on into the game. And I hit the AV Tang with the Spec Shadow Ball and it does like 42 which is a good chunk. And yeah, I obviously... And yeah, he, he, he has a T-Spike up. So, but that that's fine because I can like, uh, I have Gengar and I can just throw in the Gengar anytime I want to like uh, remove the T-Spike. So that's fine. And yeah, so uh, I got on the Metagross on the pretty obvious uh, knockoff. As he does go for the knockoff here. Uh, and I, just, I decided to double back into the Gengar here. As I, I definitely don't think he's going to stay in. And he's he's not going to stay in and he's not going to risk a roll. I think if I got a max roll with uh, Ice Punch there, he uh, probably... Yeah, Ice Punch probably does like 58% uh, uh, at a, as a max roll. So I think uh, it's safe to like double out the Metagross into the Gengar. And I just double out getting rid of the T-Spikes as well as catching the Scizor on the double. Uh, and I have a free Shadow Ball here. As he decides to go for the bullet punch here, and I get the curse body, which is like huge, because uh, I can just click, I, I can just click uh, shadow ball again here, and in case I didn't get, uh, yeah, in case I didn't get the, uh, the curse body, I would have to like uh, play more mind games. But since I get the curse body, I'm 100% confident that he's going to switch out the Mega Scissor and he's going to go into something uh, that can take on uh, Yeah, that can take on the Gengar. So I think he's going to go out into like something like the Assault West Tangrowth or something and I double out in the Guard Chomp just to keep put up offensive momentum and I thought he's going to fear the uh, Dragon Z move that is Dragon Z Outrage or something and he's going to switch out the Tangrowth so I went for the rocks but uh, on the hindsight, I don't think there was a smart be a smart play by me because uh, Tangrel like lives even a yeah yeah Tangrel lives a, a outrage Dragon Z outrage like hundred percent of the times and yeah that was like, just that was a misplay by me I think but uh, getting up rocks against him is like still pretty huge because the scissor is like at th thirty two percent and it cannot do much to my team and it does not like get off a defog on majority of my team. Uh, only thing it can like get off a defog is on a tank growth. So here my plan is like uh, here my plan is to like uh, always make sure I switch out my tank growth into my into something else that can take on the Mega Scissor and never let my tank growth stay in because it, it's like a free switch in and a uh, free switch into Scissor and uh, from the range it's at uh, Scissor is like a thirty two percent I think and uh, Hammer Arm does like 31 to 35. So it's a roll in my favor to knock him out with a Hammer Arm. So yeah, Scizor can basically come in on the Tang Growth and nothing else. So yeah, I decided to like save my Guard Chomp here after getting up rocks and I go into my Metagross. But he decides to like, he decides to double into Toxapex here, which, which I did not understand why he would do that. He probably predicted my... Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what he really predicted there. He probably predicted me to like go out and do. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why he did that play, but uh, yeah, I think he wanted to like scour for a Z Inferno Overdrive or something. Yeah, yeah, he probably wanted to scour for a Z Inferno Overdrive. Uh, yeah, so that make that play makes sense because he probably wanted to like he probably expected a Z. Fire Fang or something like a Z Fire Blast that would knock him out in one hit. So yeah, I think he didn't even see, as he didn't see an item on my Guard Chomp yet, and he probably thought it was a Z Fire move. So yeah, I got I got into my Metagross and I click EQ here. Uh, I would have clicked Thunder Punch here, but uh, Thunder Punch is like base. Uh, 97.5 even with tough claws boost and eq is just 100 uh yeah eq is 100 and uh, thunder punch is 97.5 so i decided to go for the eq here as it is 
uh, as it does more to the toxapex and if i don't get burned uh, I, like if he decides to stay and if i don't get burned i obviously knock out the toxapex here so yeah i decided to just eq on this and yeah so here um, i obviously don't want to let my mega meta stay in here even if, even though i have bullet punch it's a uh, uh, Gren probably lives it, so I just switch out into my. Uh, I I don't want to switch out into my tank growth yet because in case he in case he like doubles out into scissor, he gets up a free roost, and he also gets up a free defog. So that is something I want to avoid. So I want to keep up offensive momentum and go out into my cardio here, but he but he goes out into Zapdos here. Uh, so I know the Zapdos is definitely more offensive, and. I don't and in case he's defog, I just go for the hydro pump here. But unfortunately, I miss the hydro pump, and he gets off a T bolt on me. That is like that is like pretty pretty bad for me. And yeah, so I was like I was like uh, pretty pissed at this point. So I wasn't able to focus. Uh, I, my right play would have been to like guard on the tank growth, but. Uh, I wasn't thinking and I didn't want to like uh, let the Zapdos get higher up so I just clicked Hydro Pump here uh, and he goes for the sub which was like really really interesting because this uh, because I'm not sure what the Zapdos set was I definitely thought it was like max speed timid nature uh, with T-Bolt, Heat Wave and uh, Hidden Power Eyes because that's like the Yeah, so that's like the best moveset you can run, but he's like substitute variant uh, with T-Bolt and Heat Wave, I guess, I'm not really sure. Um, so he goes for the sub there, and I just decided to break his sub off with another Hydro Pump. And um, yeah, I now now I decided to like switch out my Keldeo into Guard Shum. This is a play which I should have done like... A long time ago, but I was just pissed that I missed the hydro pump and he got off a huge hit with T-Board and I misplayed for like uh, from yeah, I misplayed for a few turns, which was like unfortunate. Um yeah. So here uh, I have the guard chomp out. I just decided to go for um the Dragon Z outrage and it does it does a good chunk to this tank growth. Yeah, it does 68.2 percent to this tank growth, which is nice. And he also goes for the knockoff, and he takes a bit of that rough skin damage. And I just go for the EQ here, but I have no clue why he switched out into the. Yeah, I have no clue why he switched out into the Toxipex here. That was like a questionable play. Like, uh, if he, if if anything, he should have just sacked the tank growth in my opinion, or he should have like. Um, gone out into something else that can like take on the guard charm pretty well like he could have sacked off the scissor because the scissor is like not getting a defog off on like many things or he could have gone into like uh, yeah or he could have even sacked the greninja off because the greninja is not ash green and uh, protean green is not going to do a lot because it like has one more or maximum two more life orb hits left and i have like two of the best checks to protean green in now by pivoting around Keldeo and Tang Road. So I'm not really sure why he switched on in the Toxapex, which was like, in my opinion, a misplay. And I get off a huge chunk on this Toxapex, so, which is like really good for me. And I just EQ again, and he, he decides to stay and he just sacks off the Toxapex. Okay, now he goes out in the, he goes out in the, he goes out in the Greninja here. And I'm like, I don't want to give him the Ash form. So, uh, I think I switch out here. No, okay, never mind. I just stay in here and, uh, I think, okay, okay. Yeah, this is my thought process here. I'm like, even if he goes, even if he like knocks me out, I have a free switch in, like, free switch into my Metagross, which always kills this with, uh, BP. Or I can go out on my Keldeo, which is Scarf. And I don't think he's going to lock himself into Water Shuriken, because if he wa locks himself into Water Shuriken, then... Tangroth is a safe switch in and I don't, I don't think he has like one more stealth rock left, uh, like stealth rock hit left in him. So I just decided to like sack off my guard champ here and 
Garchomp is pretty darn useless at this point because it's used up his Z-move and he's not going to be doing anything to the Mega Scissor or the Heat Run. So I decided to sack the Garchomp off at this point. And I just go into my Metagross here because I know he's Protean and he, I'm pretty sure I can live even if it's a 5 hit Water Shuriken if they ever run that. Yeah, he's but he turns out to be E Belt uh, Protean Grin, which is like uh, a pretty cool set. And yeah, he goes out in the scissor here, and uh, I I think it's time to go for game here, and I just got double out in the Landris here. And so that because Scissor is like a free set of fire for Landris, I ha I'm the I like I told you guys before I'm the Swords Dance Earth Earthquake Earth Plate Smackdown Substitute variant, and it like shits on the rest of his team. So I just decided to get, set up my Landris here. I go for the SD as he goes for the Roost again, and I just EQ this. I just EQ the Scissor. And he just U-turns as he can't do anything to me. And he goes out on the Zapdos here, which uh, I think, which I, which uh, I definitely anticipated him to be faster than me and go for the Hidden Power Ice. But uh, even if he goes for the Hidden Power Ice, Scizor dies to rocks, and Metagross just cleans up the rest of his team. So I'm pretty confident in just sacking off the Landers here. But uh, he decides to go for the Substitute here for some reason. And uh, and it turns and it turns out that he doesn't have the hidden power eyes, so he just ends up forfeiting the game because it was pretty much over at that point. Because yeah, Landris just cleans up. If I I live a heat wave and I just, and Landris just cleans up this game. Uh, Tangrowth doesn't live a plus two EQ from Earthplate Adam and Landris from the range it's at, and even if it like somehow miraculously lives that, Metagross just cleans up. So yeah. This was a pretty cool and fun game where my opponent decided to like bring a more bulkyish team, and I decided to bring just hyper offense and just yeah, this hyper offense just crushed his like bulkier builds. Um, yeah, and this game was like pretty cool in my opinion because uh, it just shows the power of like pure hyper offense. So yeah, this is my round. Uh, yeah, this is my basically my second game, and. Uh, I'll be back with like more games from Circle Jerk Tour. I'm like 2 and 0 at this point. And let's see how far I can go with this. Okay, so peace guys. See you in the next video. Bye.